Uh, but hey, so did you like? I saw when when they when they announced they were do you know airing the uh, the the Tom McGee Bret Hart match documentary. Like I saw your response to that. I I didn't even know you were having the panel. Uh, when did you when did you uh, when did you uh, announce get Tom McGee on board for that? We uh, we started talking right before uh, WrestleMania and oh. uh, had it sort of sewed up. Um, shortly after, and then it took a little while to come up with the, the video and we pushed out a video that I was really, really proud of and think it's probably one of the best things that we've ever done. Uh, Chris McDonald gets all the credit for that. I had an idea for what I wanted the actual video to look like, but I'm not, you know, technically inclined to be able to do any of that, but he has a skill set that just blew me away. And so the video we posted, uh, one day after we had to announce that undertaker wasn't going to be there. So, you know, the old school. Uh, sandwich technique is what I used. And I want to explain what that is. So you give a little bit of good news yep. and then you give some bad news and then you give a little more good news. So my good news was, Hey, Taz is making a rare appearance. He never does anything like this. Uh, and, and he true. really doesn't. And, and so then we did, here's the undertaker news, which is bad, but Hey, here's two more pieces of good news. We got Kobashi and we got the Tom McGee panel. I mean, Tom McGee's never done a convention like this at all. Never. So the idea that, that we had him and Brett talking about the match, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And, and, um, so did you watch the documentary last night, uh, Conrad? I did. And I was going to give you a high five through the show today for giving me a low key plug, but you didn't even know you were doing it last night when you said, <laughs> well, there's a market for Tom McGee meet and greet. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know, but like, you know, great minds think alike. Um, so boy, what a cliche thing to say. Um, <laughs> uh, so, um, I like after watching it, like, I think that it kind of just makes it even better. Like when the, when the panel happens, like honestly, like regardless of what their intentions were. Oh, well, hundred percent. And so the idea that, that I was going to post this video and you know, we got over 400,000 impressions on that video within two days. I mean, it went super viral when we announced that McGee was coming and we had the internet buzzing. You know, I told everybody in my circle, I said, Hey, just so y'all know, WWE is going to push this out a week or two before Starcast." And they're like, what do you mean? I was like, well, just let me assure you that when they see there's some buzz here, they're going to make sure it comes out on the network. And they were kind of down on it. Like, why would they do that? I'm like, no, that's not bad for us because not, yeah. we're going to get all the hype and the buzz for a few weeks. And then when WWE announces they're going to air it, uh, it's going to make everybody say, oh, I can't believe they're doing this and blah, blah, blah. So they'll be talking about Starcast again. And then by the time we actually get around to the event, uh, people will have already seen the match, and that more people will know about Tom McGee than ever before. Yeah, more people will care, and it won't be just like they're just, it's all new information to them. Like they, yeah. they'll be like up to speed on a lot of it. Yeah. I think, I think it worked out for the best. I'm not upset about it at all. And, you know, I have a, a good relationship with the folks who helped put together the video, and they're like, hey, you know, we just want you to know, like, no, this is great. This is good for me. This is good for Starcast. It's good for Tom. It's good for Brett. And I'm really glad that Tom is getting sort of his moment in the sun Me because too. he's one of those forgotten guys from wrestling. And now he's getting, you know, to a little bit of glory. And I think that's cool. Yeah. And so I, um, we, in the, in the mid nineties, when we would go to gold's gym, Venice, you know, we'd see Tom McGee there all the time, but he looks so different. He didn't look that much different than he does now. It's just, he had a mullet, like longer mm -hmm. hair. Uh, like he had thinned out a lot, you know, from his world's strongest man days, but it was such a nice guy, you know, always so pleasant. And, uh, and I don't know what the fuck, where I was going with that. Um, it's <laughs> <laughs> probably going to be great on a panel. Uh, I, I just, um, Jesus Christ, talk about having a brain fart. Uh, <laughs> Anyways. I think what you're thinking, Sean, is that you don't have to be in Las Vegas to see this. You can watch it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>